What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi. How the f is everyone doing today? All right, so today we are going to be testing out the brand new Fenty Beauty Chill Out collection by Rihanna. This is the holiday collection and listen, bitch, this packaging already, I haven't even opened it and I'm like, hmm, hmm. It's heavy, it feels luxurious, and girl, we know Rihanna never plays games, so we have a bunch of stuff to dive into today. We have pigments, we have uh, lipsticks, we have foiled eye pencils, we have the coveted um, highlighter palette that I cannot wait to dive into. So, of course, you guys know I have been traveling a lot. It has been a crazy month. Um, besides people coming left and right trying me, which... Y'all haven't learned by now to stop that? Um, I have been in London. I did a makeup class in New York with Lipstick Nick. I opened up the Morphe Brushes location in Houston, Texas at the Galleria Mall. Whew, it has been a crazy month. So um, currently I am here in Grand Rapids, Michigan at my home and me, Nate, and Zach are just spending some time chilling here. Um, we all went and saw Elton John last night at the Van Andel Arena here in town and oh my God. <sighs> it was one of the best shows I have ever seen. So, time to dive into some makeup. I haven't just sat down and played in a while, so I'm really excited about today's review. Of course, you guys know I've already prepped myself with some foundation, concealer, contour, and yeah, my face is ready to slay. So, look at little Da Vinci. Hi, little man. Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you, dude. Da Vinci. Um, it's his first time here at his new Michigan home, and he's mm -hmm. loving it, huh? Yeah, he loves the, the fall weather for sure. Yeah, he loves chasing all the leaves. It's mm -hmm. the cutest thing ever. He's like, what are all these lights? Can you guys just relax? <laughs> all right, dude, we'll see you in a minute. Before we even do anything with the eyes, I just want to open up this highlighter palette. That's really like the dessert, so let's dive in. I have my Rihanna highlighting brush right here, and... Here is what the packaging looks like for the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. This will be retailing for $54, and there are, there are a lot of shades in here, so we are, of course, going to play with this in a minute, but the packaging already, you guys, it's pretty gorgeous. All right, now there are six shades in this palette, and these are allegedly hyper metallic finish. You're gonna really glow, and it's for cheeks, eyes, or anywhere that you wanna put it. Mm. All right, so let's open her up here. All right, bam! That is what she looks like. Of course, there is literally a shade for every skin tone in this palette. If you're someone that doesn't like weird colored um, highlighters, like the purples and the blues, well, too bad. Rihanna is gonna force you to. <laughs> and so am I, by the way, because I love different color like highlighters. I love the lilac, by the way. Love this. We know the mirror is fresh. And this is a very big mirror for this type of thing. Like my whole horse face fits in here and I'm living. So of course you guys see there are all seven shades here laid out and I have to touch one. Let's touch the center because it looks stunning. Oh, it feels nice. So that is what it's looking like on the finger. Let's do a little swatch right here. Oh wow, just looking at it in the reflection of this mirror I have right here blinding. You guys see all the shade names are on the back. My favorite one is actually the middle one I just touched called Stone Cold. Okay, so let's just grab our highlighting brush. Bam! Of course, I have nothing on these cheeks but some contour and some powder. And let's dive into, ooh, what is this one called? Sub-Zero. This is like a really icy looking highlighter. So let's just dive in here. Oh, wow. Okay, let's give this cheek a whirl. Ooh, okay. I, okay, I'll be honest. I expected like blinding with this shade, but it's almost like a topper. Um, oh wow, there's a lot of fallout in my face. Hold on, hold on. Okay, good. It does not like go into the skin where it leaves like a crazy finish. It wiped away easy. Okay, so this shade is cute. Let me just dab in here one more time. Just kind of go over there. It's definitely like subtle ice. It's not like holy shit blinding. I think I want to try Scandal Ice next. That is this shade right up here. And let's just dive in and dip into that, the whole brush. Now I normally don't really like these brushes for highlighting for me personally. You guys know I've been gravitating for uh, probably ever to these Morphe um, highlighting brushes. I just love the way the dome of this bristle just packs on the product. So if I'm not liking how this is applying, I'm gonna try the other side with the Morphe brush. But let's try Scandal Ice on top of that, ooh, okay. We like layering. I'm just gonna put this up here on the brow bone because you guys know I don't believe in eyebrows anymore. 
and it's definitely pretty, but my jaw is not like dropping on the ground, you know? So I'm actually gonna take a clean finger and dip into this one and this one, and let's just see what they look like. All right, so I'm gonna put these next to that other shade and see when I put them next to it, you see how they're kind of like more iridescent, a little more chalky, but this one, the middle one was so blinding. So that tells me they're all different formulas. They are not consistent, which is obviously totally fine. They're different types of finishes. I get what they're going for. I think some of them are supposed to be a little more sheer. Bitch, I want really blinding. So if you're someone likes a little, you know, ethereal moment, I definitely think that these ones are gonna be cute for you, but I'm gonna take this brush. We're diving into this one right here. Oh wow, yes. Now that shade was called Stone Cold, of course. Hello, just said that. Hi, let me put down the pipe. Um, by the way, when am I gonna get, get high with Rihanna? Goals. All right, so let's take this. Oh wow. Okay, that is way more blinding and I love that more metallic glow. So you guys, you guys know me. I like a really like, whoa, whoa, whoa highlighter. Like, hi. Like if I'm skydiving, I want people to think like aliens are invading the earth. That's what my highlighter needs to look like. Wow, Stone Cold is beautiful. Other side, a little more dull, not my gig, but um, I also wanna dive into this one, which doesn't look that blinding. This one is called Heartburn. <laughs> I have that right now. And let's just, oh my God, that is like orange eyeshadow, but on like a medium or a dark skin tone, this would look Stunning. Also this blue. Hi, I need to see this on someone. Let's just swatch that. Oh wow. And let's do this one. Like, hi. Whoa, look at this one. Hmm. That has that same blinding glow as this side. And I think the other one is a little more dimmed down like this. And then let's try this blue. Oh wow. This has such pretty reflex of like glitter. We're gonna zoom in on this in a second, but oh, stunning. All right, so I'm gonna quickly wipe this off so I don't get it all over myself, but I'm gonna add more of Stone Cold because I am in love with that color already. Okay, we're gonna do a little Cupid's bow. Ooh, yes, there we go. So now I have three shades on over here. What the hell am I doing? Okay, let's go back over to this side. Wow. I love that like icy lavender tone. It is beautiful. Okay. Let's move on. All right, now let's dive into the Metallic Eye and Lip Crayon three-piece set. Now there are three different versions of these and it comes with uh, a little sleeve like this on the box that you take out, voila. And this is a frosted chrome effect product. It is limitless looks for your eyes and lips. Um, it can be used as eyeliner, eyeshadow, and lipstick wipe tip after each use <laughs> says everyone I've ever dated first of all let's look let's look at these let's do a little first impressions here oh they are sturdy they are in a magnetized like really nice expensive box and here is what they look like they're very like crayon type of moments which I love um, let's just open one up there's a shade names on here ice dunes okay Ooh, okay, she's big. Now, I'm just gonna swatch this on my hand for fun just to see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Ooh, that matches my jacket. That is really pretty. Okay, so you can put these like everywhere. And now this is the, what is this one called? The Frost Money um, three-piece and, <laughs> like it's a three-piece nugget. Oh, I'm hungry. Is there a Wendy's around here? Ooh, this right now. Girl, get on my eyes. Oh, wow. Now this shade is called Igloo Blue. Shall we just put it on? Let's try it. I don't know what we're gonna do here. I might have like 10 different colors on my eyes, people here, but let's give it a whirl. So you can literally use this as eyeshadow. <gasps> oh, wow. Now I do have heavy foundation and concealer on my lids. So I do want everyone to know that. I'm not doing a primer today because I don't really think these need it, clearly. Oh, wow. Okay, living. I'm gonna put this right on my lash line. Ooh. Okay, now I'm curious if, if I take a brush, will it blend? Is it gonna get weird? We're about to find out. But I just wanna see if this is gonna blend or is it like a quick dry, like we're not moving? Oh wow, yeah, it's, it dries quick, y'all. Let me tell you that. As you guys can see, I'm taking the brush and I'm putting it in my socket 
and it's not really blending, which is totally fine because you can just grab a literally probably like, hi, let's dip into there for a laugh and put that right in there. Now, I mean, it looks cute, but it definitely isn't gonna blend the color. Um, yeah, it is a quick dry. So where you put that pencil is where it's staying, which I don't mind because a lot of people are always like, Jeffrey, how do your lids not crease? I do a lot of priming, like concealer, foundation, and everything. So, I sh like eyeshadow doesn't really crease on me, but if you have oily lids, this type of product would be amazing. All right, let's try another one. All right, just so you guys can see um, a little bit better of how these are all gonna look on the eyes, we are going to zoom in a little closer. All right, we're closer. Now, let's take shade Ice Dunes again, and we're gonna actually put it all over my lid, just like the blue over here. And let's see, sorry about the shadows, you guys. Remember, I am in my Michigan house. I'm not in my normal setup in LA, but girl, let's get the job done. Now, obviously, this is a lighter type of shade, so it will blend in a little bit with my eyes, but, oh yeah, there you go, you can really see it. I feel like the blue definitely looks kind of like more blinding, but then like on my hand, this color looks so metallic, but on my lid, it's like, it's all right. I'm not living for it. I kind of love the blue better. All right, I'm gonna dip into Coppin Ice right here. And I'm just gonna blend this out a tiny bit. Now the thing I love about Rihanna's products is that they're very versatile. You can always use something for something else or a lot of the time you can and I live for that. So I just kind of dipped into that highlighter and it looks so pretty on top of this. Mm. So I'm gonna press this right on my lid. You can of course use this as eyeshadow. Oh wow, hello. I'm probably just gonna keep it right, oh wow. I was just gonna put it in the center, but it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna put it all over. Ooh, <gasps> those together, I am in love. Drama is snoring behind the backdrop. We're gonna try to be really quiet and just see if we can catch her on camera real quick. <laughs> All right, so first impressions on these. I really like the formula. I loved putting the highlighter on top of this one. It's like really pretty. Obviously, I only have two eyes and there are these crazy, um, hopefully beautiful, loose pigments I wanna try on my, um, down here and all over. So I'm gonna swatch the rest of these colors because I know a lot of you are gonna be like, Jeffrey, we wanna see all the shades. So we're gonna start um, with Smoke and Perp. <laughs> I live. Um, and I'm just gonna go on my hands like this. Oh, wow. So this is like a really like dark, beautiful purple. I'm like, oh fuck, I wanna do that over here now. I'm just gonna quickly go through them all. We have Sun Frost. Okay, girl, you coming for my gig? <laughs> and, oh wow. Imagine that with a highlighter on top. And then we have Pretty Penny. These can be used, you guys, as like eyeshadow bases too, if you wanna put, obviously, metallics over them. Imagine this in the waterline. I might have to try that later. All right, then we have Banana Frost. Okay, love that name. Imagine this as a highlighter shade. <gasps> Fenty, if you're watching this, Banana Frost needs to come in a kilowatt formula. I will die. Guava Mint. We'll just go right here with that one. Oh, wow. That is really pretty. Huh. You might get, y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Hold on here. I'm like, hmm. I'm just like layering 20 things. Okay, and then there's one more. By the way, this packaging looks really pretty. You guys know I love a chrome moment. Um, all right, we're gonna zoom in on my hand right now and you guys will be able to see all of the shades. All right, now let's dive into the Avalanche All Over Metallic Powder Set. So this retails for $99 and you get seven shades. Is that a bargain? Is that overpriced? Let's find out. Now inside here, you are going to find, oh, pigments for eyes, cheeks, and lips. So they are very versatile, just like all the other products. Now when you open it up, it comes in this beautiful box that I showed in the beginning, and I love this packaging. As you guys see, when you open it, it has this really cool um, logo right here, and then bam, now packaging, a 10 for me on this one. 
I love it. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I love all the iridescent hollow moments here. And then the display. Girl, this is a display. Now let's see what these look like. Ooh, okay. So it comes in these little jars, of course, with the iconic Fenty Beauty logo. Shade names are on the bottom. These have one gram of product each. Um, and what, let, let's just dive into the website here and let's see what these are allegedly supposed to do. So these are loose metallic pigments for eyes, cheeks, and lips. They are melt worthy in a range of jewel tones. So this says you guys that you can dip and dab your finger or any eyeshadow brush over the eyes, cheeks, and lips and blend. But it says if you want maximum intensity, where did I just read that you guys? For maximum intensity to wet a brush. So we definitely are gonna do that. Now let's see the shade range in here. We have coppers, we have reds. Oh wow, we have gold, we have blue, oh wow. Glacier Gang, we're gonna try that right now. And they do come with this little protector right here that you pull up so no product comes out. <gasps> oh wow. All right, now we're gonna dip into shade Glacier Gang and let's just see what happens on the brush. It says you can do your finger as well, but I'm just gonna dive in here. Oh wow, okay, the brush is thoroughly coated. I don't know what is about to happen. I'm just gonna try this on my hand really quickly here. Like what kind of texture are we working with? Like just from touching it, I kind of get what is gonna happen here. So as I'm blending in, you see the intensity is actually really pretty. If you wet the brush, I can only imagine how blinding this is. So let's grab some Fix Plus and let's wet it. All right, I'm just gonna take the brush and go right under the lid. Oh, wow. Oh, hello, pigment. How are you? Now there is a tiny bit of fallout right here. Nothing I can't brush away, so I'm really not worried. This is a bright blue. Wow, this is beautiful. And then I feel like if I let this dry for a second and I took like a lighter blue eyeshadow or some of the highlighter, from even in here, you could kind of like blend it really good. So we're gonna try that in just a second, but wow, hello blue, how are you? All right, so I'm actually gonna take a few shades from in here. I'm gonna dip into this highlighter and this one. Hi, we're mixing. And I'm just gonna take it and just brush right under, just to give it some more like iridescence and just a little more, let's get a little more weird, shall we? Now, of course, I'm kind of liking how harsh this line is. If you want, you can take a brush with some more shadow. You can blend and buff it out, but I kind of like this. It's very like we're on New York Fashion Week and we're just trying to live our lives right now. Now, the only thing I think is missing is a color in the waterline. So I'm just gonna pop a little MAC fascinating liner, if you will, into the waterline just to give it a little bit of oomph and give it that like, whoa factor. All right, wow, that looks really pretty. Let's move over here. And I really wanna try this like icy purple. It's called February. So I use this brush for the blue underneath. I'm gonna um, use the same brush, of course, for that. Should we just start it right now? Let's wet the brush, I think so. Obviously the blue on the other side is like, holy shit, blinding. But this one does look pretty. It's not giving me that like, <gasps> wow factor like the other side, but I do like the shade. I mean, lavender and bronze, I think, look so good together. So let me just blend this out. There is a little bit of fallout again. But what I did off camera is I took a little Morphe fan brush and I just kind of swept it away with nothing on the brush and it was like, bam, easy. All right, you guys, now, just like on the other side, I want to dip into a highlighter. So I'm going to dip into this top shade right here and I'm just going to take it and start in the center and just kind of blend down so it gives you that really sparkly like, ooh. All right. All right. Um, safe to say these are bomb. Now we'll talk about the final thoughts at the end, but I love this moment. I know it's a little weird. It's funky. I just want to try a few colors of all this stuff on my eyes. So what do you guys think? Now off camera, I did add some more white in the waterline here and I did do some mascara. So hi, I don't look so dead. <laughs> now I've been dying to try these. These are the Frosted Metal Lipstick Sets. Now, oh, I'm like, I wanna open this right now. I've been dying to try this shade out ever since I saw Rihanna wear it. Now this is no chill. 
And I'm just gonna go in, by the way, really cute packaging. Love these, very good for like on the go, throw it in your bag. Now let's see how this looks. Whoa, hello. Oh my god, I love this shade. I'm feeling like Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was Mr. Freeze in Batman. Girl, hello. I haven't even tried the other shades yet, but this one is so unique. This like metallic periwinkle fantasy. I'm like, whoa, what is the shade called again? No chill. I'm gonna like go to Sephora and buy like 50 of these. <laughs> okay, hi, that color is stunning. Now, also in this set, I'm like, what are these? Ooh, a beautiful bronze frost sauce. I'm living for that name. And then we have fog snog. Okay, honey. <gasps> Whoa, this is like a cool pewter, like metallic. Oh, wow, that is stunning. Besides these lipsticks, she also came out with a few new shades. Let's hold them up right here of her liquid lip paint and girl. I have been dying to try these. This like, oh, they're all pretty. This nude is stunning. This like warm toned brown is like, oh, like just want to put it all over me. And then this, I like how they changed the cap for the black um, liquid lip. And I kind of want to do an ombre of like the black and the brown. Mm. What do you guys think? Okay, let me wipe this off. Be right back. All right, now let's dive in. Um, uninvited. <laughs> what a perfect name. I cannot wait to put it all over me. Whoa, it's like ink. I love it. You guys notice how I haven't dunked in back once? There's so much product on this brush. Living. This is a look. Now what I love to do is I like to take another color. Let's just try this one. This might look really crazy. I get it, you guys. I tried a lot of eye stuff. It's gonna get weird. Doesn't it always? Now this shade is called Unveil, okay? Now I like to take a little eyeshadow brush and just pat it on and really give it that look. I mean, we are, we are in Halloween season. Now I would wear this in March, let's be honest. But this looks really cool. Now I'm just gonna go in, actually I'll just do it with this brush and just define. All right, now with this eye look, I do not like the lip, but the lip itself. First impressions, really love it. I think the formula is good, it feels smooth. Now of course, I've only tried the one red shade um, that Rihanna put out, so this is cute. But this nude, this is called Unbutton. I really wanna try it, so I'm gonna quickly, oh girl, look. When you're out of makeup wipes, <laughs> we're using this one. I'm just gonna wipe this off. <sighs> and I'll be right back. All right, here is shade Unbutton. I think this is gonna look really cute with my hair and my top right here. Oh, wow. Ooh, I don't know about with that blue eye, bitch, but girl, this color is cute. Okay, I love the shade. Let me let it dry for a second. Whew. All right, <laughs> final thoughts. Let's dive into it. Now, the coveted highlighter palette that everyone has been talking about. I will say this, for the price point, I think, it, I get it, it's Rihanna. It's gonna be a little bit pricey for people, but I don't know if it's worth it for the amount of shades that I lived for. I love the single kilowatt highlighters that she has put out, live for them. So I wouldn't mind seeing like one, or two of those in a single, but overall, I think it's cute. The packaging is stunning, the mirror is big, um, but I don't think it's a must have. I'm moving along, ooh, the pigment box. Now, I think $100 for these, look, it's Fenty Beauty, the packaging stunning, you get a lot of shades, and there is a lot of product in this, so I definitely think it is a fair price point. I think the formula in these are awesome. I mean, this blue, like, all I'm staring at is the blue, like, whoa. Um, are the other shades up to par? Yeah, I think so. I think some of them are gonna be a little lighter. Obviously, we saw the lavender. It wasn't as like, whoa. But um, versatility, that's what Fenty Beauty is all about. Now, the lipsticks, girl. I really love these. 
She always puts out really unique shades. I think a lot of brands are so afraid of color. Like, you know what I mean? Rainbow colors, yellows, greens, blues. Um, you know, so many corporate brands. They don't sell, girl. <laughs> they sell. I just, I don't know. I love the lipstick formula. Um, now, moving on, let's talk about the other part of the eye, which of course was the eye and lip crayons. Now, I lived for the packaging on these. I thought they were really cool. I felt like I was like about to roll the blunt when I popped this open, um, and I just love how they look. The formula was amazing, and these are really great, and these are definitely Jeffree Star approved. Now, girl, you know what else is Jeffree Star approved? These motherfucking lip paints. I love these. Now I know these <laughs> this eye look did not <laughs> match the lips, but I just love this formula. Um, and not a lot of brands are like getting that liquid lip formula. So many have tried and failed, but Rihanna, girl, you did it. Now, what else is there? I think that's it, right? Now it's your turn. Sound off below. What did you guys like on me? <laughs> what did you guys hate on me? I, I always, of course, want to hear your feedback. So. Are we about to dive into holiday for everyone else? Yes, we are. We're about to have Halloween and then, bitch, my holiday collection is launching too. So everyone saddle up for a good rest of the year. Who am I going to be for Halloween? We'll see. All right. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.